I'm Jessica, a nutritionist with Magmar, and I'd like to introduce you guys to Picasso, a nine-year-old Appaloosa gelding. In early August here in Florida, with temperatures soaring to above 90 degrees Fahrenheit and humidity pushing close to 100%, Picasso quit sweating. This condition is called anhydrosis and came with several other symptoms. He became lethargic, had an elevated respiration rate and effort, and even experienced some hair loss. This was Picasso's first documented case of anhydrosis. Prior to his diagnosis, his daily routine included unrestricted access to his stall and to his pasture. His daily diet included one pound of soaked Timothy pellets, 200 grams of Mad Barnes on Mayday pellets, one gram of Mad Barnes Optimum probiotics, and 15 grams of table salt. He also received six pounds of coastal Bermuda grass and free choice pasture grass, fresh water, and table salt. He was in light exercise, mainly at a walk and trot. Upon his anhydrosis diagnosis, Picasso underwent a few key management changes. This included being stalled under several fans during daylight hours to help keep him cool and all exercise was halted. His daily hay intake increased to account for the restriction in pasture grass. The only other dietary change was an incremental increase in salt to 120 grams per day. This gradual intake in salt occurred over the span of four days. Within three days of receiving 120 grams of salt daily, Picasso began to sweat normally and his respiration rate returned to normal. Upon the reintroduction to daytime turnout and exercise, he continued to sweat adequately. Now that temperatures here in Florida have started to cool off, I decreased his salt to 90 grams per day and he continued to 